.NET can feel incredibly hard when you're just starting out, but it doesn't have to be. I've been coding for over 3 years and in this video I'll share the 5 key lessons that finally made it click for me and how you can make it click too. The very first thing that makes .NET feel hard is just how many different options and terms you're hit with when starting out. There's ASP.NET Core, MVC, Eraser Pages, Blazor, and if you don't know the difference, it all feels like one big blur. You might watch one tutorial that uses Eraser Pages, then another that builds the same type of application with MVC, and then another that dives into Blazor components. Suddenly you're left wondering, wait, which one am I actually supposed to learn? That's exactly what happened to me when I started. For no real reason, I followed the Razer Pages tutorial first, just because it was the one I stumbled across. Then I moved on to an MVC project. In my mind, it was just another ASP.NET Core project, but honestly, it felt like I had switched to something completely different. To make it worse, I'd sometimes find advanced tutorials where developers were building production apps using services and patterns I had never even heard of. The problem was I hadn't even learned how to write and test simple functions yet. Sometimes I only wanted to figure out how to perform one small task and all that extra complexity just left me even more confused. Here's the takeaway. When you're starting with .NET, don't get distracted by every framework and advanced tutorial you see. Stick to the basics first, pick one main path like ASP.NET Core MVC, which is my recommendation. Identify the core topics you need to learn and give yourself permission to ignore the rest until you're ready. The second thing that made a big difference for me was learning to really understand my errors before moving forward. It's tempting to just apply a quick fix or copy a solution from Stack Overflow and keep coding, but if you don't know why the error happened, you'll just run into it again later. In most cases, the quick fixes don't solve the root problem, they only hide it. I remember this happening all the time when I first worked with Entity Framework. I'd set up my models but connect them incorrectly and when I tried to save data, the database would throw all kinds of errors. Instead of figuring out what actually went wrong, I would often think the program itself wasn't working properly. I would blame the computer because of course, always the logical thing to do. So I would delete my migrations, drop the database and sometimes even start a brand new project just to escape the problem. Of course, that only wasted hours. Eventually I had to slow down, read the error messages more carefully and search for explanations deeper. Once I understood that the issue she was with how my models were linked, fixing it was way easier and I finally stopped making the same mistakes over and over. So instead of trying to run away from errors, try and learn from them. Every error you take the time to truly understand is one less mistake you'll repeat in the future and they really deepen your overall understanding of coding. The third lesson I had to learn was to always go back to the basics whenever I got stuck. In .NET it's really easy to feel lost, there are so many layers of code, frameworks and libraries, but the thing is most bugs and issues aren't as complicated as they look at first. What helped me was training myself to reverse engineer what was happening. Instead of staring at the broken part of the app, I'd ask, what's the actual flow here? First a request comes from the user, then it hits a controller or method, then that method calls the database, finally the result is returned to the browser. By walking through that simple path step by step, I could usually spot where things went wrong. Sometimes you may think your database is broken, but if you trace the flow, the problem may just be a missing return statement in the controller. And when you learn to debug, maybe a bit later, you'll get better at spotting other errors. So here's the key takeaway. When you're lost, try not to overthink it. Strip things back to the basics, walk through the flow, and most of the time you'll find that the problem is much simpler than it first appeared. 
Just in case you'd like my direct help during this whole process, you can find me inside the .NET squad. It's a place you can turn to whenever you're stuck on code or need some guidance. You'll learn .NET faster and won't have to go through it alone. If you join now, you can even try it for free. The link is below. Moving on, another big thing I realized is that repetition is the only way to make .NET concepts realistic. You don't learn programming by memorizing C syntax or trying to read every line of documentation, you learn by actually coding for a while and doing it all over again. Every time you repeat the process, the connections get stronger in your mind. For example, when I first heard about dependency injection or the request pipeline, I had no clue what those meant. I could read definitions, but they didn't really make sense to me. It wasn't until I worked on multiple projects, hit the same problems over and over, and saw those concepts in action that I finally got it. I'd write broken code, fix it, then later run into the same type of bug in another project, and this time I knew how to solve it. That's why sometimes I think you just haven't done as much repetition as you should, rather than things being harder than they should be. I'd highly suggest not worrying if you don't fully understand everything right away. The more you practice, the more those confusing ideas will naturally start to click. The last lesson, but not the least, is being intentional with what you're learning. It's easy to just jump into the next random tutorial or click on another video or read more docs, but most of the time that only adds more noise. If you're not solving something specific, you'll end up drowning in information that doesn't actually help you. What worked for me was focusing only on the things my project needed at that moment. For example, when I was building a web app with MVC, I stayed focused on the framework fundamentals first. I learned about controllers, models, views, and eventually authentication, because those were the building blocks my project required. I didn't waste time learning advanced patterns or optimizations that I wasn't going to use or apply in my current project yet. As my projects grew, I naturally picked up those advanced concepts later when I actually needed them. I believe projects are a great guide for your learning. Learn the concepts that move you forward right now and don't get distracted by everything else. There's only so much you can really learn or understand at once and this also helps you put all your focus on what's in front of you. So those are the five lessons that made .NET finally click for me. Another massive help to accelerate your learning is having a roadmap to follow so you know exactly what you need to focus on. I've made a video explaining exactly that. It's on the screen now, so click on it and I'll see you there.